welcome to Francis Quilts, the site dedicated to the wonderful art of quilting, with a few other fun things thrown in as well. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to Francis Quilts. So this morning I've been in a dilemma because I had one of those situations that I had a tool and I thought, I know exactly how to use this. And as I started working with it, I found out that I did not know how to use it. Have you done that? Anyway, it was using an S-curve ruler for machine quilting. Now, I bought this particular one from a company called Angel Oak Stitchery. Uh, they are, were a vendor at our local quilt show a few years ago. And I've looked at this and thought, oh, this will be simple. Well, let me show you what I found out. This is what an S-curve ruler looks like. Um, this is a two inch one. I'm going to be demonstrating on the one inch just so it'll fit better on my board. But I looked at that and I thought, well, this is simple. You go from here and you quilt around here and you hook here and then you move this down. Well, let's see what happens when we do that. Today I am working again with my little um, drawing wheel right here. This is from Westerly and it's designed for you to be able to put it inside your ruler and that way you can draw your quarter of an inch and see exactly what the size is going to look like. So let's start over here in the corner and I thought I could just put my ruler or put my um, start my needle here in this in the hook right there and do a hook around like this and look that's a pretty S isn't it? So I thought, well, then I just put this here so that it, the hook fits right there, and I do it again. And that's another pretty S. I mean, that's looking really nice. And then I put my S in here, or I put my, my hook here, and let's keep going, whoops, around like that. Well, that's fine, but if you are working in a defined area such as a border, that may be kind of hard to place. At least I found it hard to place. So I did a little bit of reading and I found out the way to make straight S's, one coming down from the other, is to do it this way. You, instead of starting in the hook, you start at the marking line in the center there. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to come down to the hook and then back around and over. I'm not going to stop at the hook. Instead, I'm going to come back down to that center point there. Then I'm not putting it in the hook when I start the next time, I'm winding it up with that center line again. So I've got it on that center and I'll come down and around and over. Whoops, didn't do that right. And then I would have come back to here. See, it's hard to, hard to remember that you don't stop at the hook. And then come here and back here. Let's see if I remember this time and then back to the center. And then back in here. Obviously, your needle is not going to move the way my little disc does here. So that is the way you get a line of S's um, working through a border. So let's go to the machine and see what it looks like when we're actually doing the quilting. So now we know exactly how to use an S-curve ruler and probably more importantly, how not to use an S-curve ruler. I hope you learned something new. Please come back for more and thanks for watching. Remember, if you like what you've seen, be sure to subscribe. 
You can also find my blog at francisquilts.com and I'm on Facebook and Instagram at Francis Quilts and on Pinterest at Francis Quilts 57. Hope to see you again soon.